Welcome to the world of Pongs. This uh, section pretty much focuses on uh, Atari and Telegames Pong units and wanted to show some things that you need to know about these. Uh, there's uh, countless different models and variations. Um, these, uh, this one specifically is uh, a little more valuable. Uh, the, the Atari Pong units uh, due to the historical significance and being Atari are worth a little bit more um, Like I said, uh, this is the basic uh, basic model and uh, <clears throat> They have batteries they take uh, the originals take uh, D batteries and um, One thing to watch on these units I and mean, I'm gonna look over here at the telegames unit as well It's got uh, kind of like an off-white uh, top to it is you really have to take a look when you pick these up at the battery component they can uh, sometimes often be very corroded and uh, often more of a pain to clean than you want now uh, the boxes uh, my telegames box is a little is a little beat up and then there's a super pong Typically, these units would come with uh, foam inserts. This one's obviously corroded. Uh, a manual. And usually, the uh, AC adapter, also known as the battery eliminator, is separate. Um, with the early Pong units, they did take a separate AC adapter. They wouldn't use uh, a standard Atari 2600 adapter. Atari did make their own separate, unique um, Pong unit battery eliminator and uh, that's the box to it and the other thing that you need to know is that uh, early Pong units had these style syst uh, um, TV adapters uh, you never ever have to use these and the reason why is on eBay Radio Shack get one of these female to male adapters much better signal work 10 times better and tell this thing to go bye bye you don't have to use these but if you do see one of these in the box or with the pong unit that is what it, what it did come with so um, just to let you know now uh, some of the early pong units are expensive some of the um, uh, more common ones this is one of my favorite, and that's in the video for that, is the Pong Sports 4. Now the reason why it's in the video is it's a variation of Pong. It has many different game variations. It's in color, and it's four player. It is so awesome. Each player has their own separate controller, which uh, plugs into the unit in the back and like I said it's uh, a lot of fun to play uh, four player pong is uh, is awesome now the uh, the Atari version is called the ultra pong doubles and uh, it's a little bit more harder to get but the Sears telegames one is a, a lot easier to get and costs less same same thing and that's why I'm showing both of these is that uh, you know, for the serious Atari collector, obviously, um, the Pong would probably be your choice. But it's the same system, and uh, this one plays uh, awesome. Love it. Now, this specific one is kind of an oddball. There isn't uh, an Atari equivalent. And it's Hockey Pong. It's kind of a oddity. It's in black and white. It was released... Uh, um, a little bit later uh, with the Pong units and uh, it, it's, it's just kind of an uh, anomaly uh, it's a kind of a combination of a clone system and and early Pongs but it plays in black and white and uh, has been to almost every one of the Portland Retro Gaming Expos a couple, a couple Northwest uh, classic game enthusiast shows and uh, like I said, I found this for a dollar. <laughs> um, it is uh, 
one of my favorite uh, versions of Pong units and is uh, currently plugged into a TV in my game room. Love it. Awesome. Now, there's also uh, several variations of built-in systems that aren't Pong units. And this is one that I have. It's Video Pinball by Atari. And uh, it plays uh, several different games, mostly Pinball and Breakout. And um, kind of a weird system, white. It's got buttons on the side for flippers, flipper action for Pinball, and then this knob here is for Breakout. And uh, these are uh, uncommon, and uh, they're, uh, they're, they're definitely not a Pong unit, but uh, they're kind of a standalone system. And so I totally recommend these. And uh, they take batteries like um, other Pong units. And uh, what you kind of notice too, that uh, they do uh, take an AC adapter, and it's the same AC adapter that would be for the 2600. Now I do have the Telegames version as well. And uh, like I said, same unit just looks different. And uh, both of these are fairly uncommon and uh, totally recommend them. All right, hope this helps you collect Pong units. Thank you for looking at it.